Hello guys, so welcome back. Today we will understand uh, a very important topic in terms of a payment. Uh, the difference between the MT202 and MT202 cover payment. When do we use this MT202 and when do we use this MT202 cover payments? Why was MT202 cover payments introduced? So these are the few questions uh, which are frequently being asked. Uh, even in my uh, videos comments so I'll explain each one of it one by one so let's understand so let's let's get started with uh, MT202 first of all right what is MT202 and MT202 code so MT202 message is nothing but the bank to bank financial institution transfer message This is also bank to bank financial institution transfer message. The main purpose of the MT202 is to make the payments. For banks only, that is interest or foreign exchange, etc. So this cover payment is used. make payment for the original uh, single customer payment That is MT103. So, so basically, MT202 cover is used for is used by the banks to send a message to another bank, which will actually cover the payment. This that is the uh, fund flow for the original MT103 message sent. So that we will understand a little bit with uh, uh, with an example uh, with uh, before and after changes. So MT202, you know, MT202 cover basically was introduced after 9/11 attack. Okay. introduced in uh, MT15022 when started so in MT202 it does not have information of sender and receiver customer that is nothing but the 50k details and 59 details that is ordering customer and the uh, beneficiary uh, customer details however in MT202 we have in section 
B fifty K and fifty nine that is ordering customer detail and find beneficiary beneficiary details. So this information will be there in MT202 cover in all those MT202 cover cases. These, these are the major differences uh, between the MT202 and MT202 cover. But let's understand this with an example. So we'll take our popular example where Ram wants to send a fund to his friend Sam in different country, right? So uh, we will take this example. Um, this is Ram. This is his bank. Let's say State Bank of India and he wants to transfer a fund to let's say a friend who is living in uh, UAE and it saves uh, bank is Barclays A T right now uh, assuming that this uh, bank State Bank of India doesn't have the accounting relationship with the uh, beneficiary bank that is Bark AE, Barclays AE, right? So, but it has the RMA relationship. In that case, what it will do is it will send one MT103 message, which we have already discussed in the direct and cover payment method, right? So, before before uh, 2009, 9-11, right? What banks used to do is, you know, uh, in this scenario, before covered payment was introduced, that is before 9-11, they used to send MT202 messages. So, let's suppose uh, SBN Bank sends a MT202 to the sending correspondent bank. Let's say it is uh, SCBL. US standard chartered bank US it sends empty 202 messages right to uh, make a fund transfer for this empty 103 but it doesn't have 50k it doesn't have right it doesn't have 59 details as well right so these two information were not there and same way if there are like other intermediary banks involved in it let's say city US or maybe I'll, I'll city AE, uh, city uh, uh, AE that is a uh, UAE bank, it sends another MT202. Here also 50k is not there and 59 detail is not there. And then finally it sends the fund to via some local clearing and settlement mechanism, it will send this fund to Park AE AD, right? So now see here, there are two, there are two MT202 messages and this bank, and this bank is involved in this payment cycle and there can be a chances that this person Ram is doing some anti-money laundering, right? And, and this bank, SCBL US and CTA are you know uh, without knowingly unwittingly they are involved in anti-money laundering cases and thereby they don't have visibility who sent the original uh, payment so that is around details and as well as the SAM details who is here in Saudi Arabia right let's say its name is SAM so 50k details uh, and 59 details right so these details are not there in MT202 and this is how 
earlier the payment was uh, happening right and thereby SCBL US and CTA used to you know uh, uh, get involved with uh, without doing anything you know and thereby there was uh, uh, this revolution introduced into the banking payments where instead of sending MT202 they have initiated a MT202 cover so here you see now MT202 cover now it is sent where we have 50k details and 59 details so SBIN will send this MT202 cover which has this ordering custom details and 59 that is beneficiary uh, customer details to SBL US and when SBL US is going to send MT202 cover message it also will copy paste the same 50k details in sequence P and 59 details in sequence P right and thereby there is a transparency uh, by each of the institution about like uh, for example one that is SBL US that who had sent and they can have a check on this anti money laundering and then uh, regulatory screenings and then and then they can decide whether they have to send this another MT202 cover or proceed it further so and, and thereby bringing more transparency into the pay, payments domain uh, payment side right so that, that is why this MT202 cover message was introduced so as I said like in, in MT202 cover uh, we have all those uh, details of MT202 and we have uh, all the information of MT202 in sequence in block 4 it will be written like this all MT202 tags and sequence A and in sequence B we have details of 50k, 59 and we also have 70 details information ordering customer detail uh, beneficiary details remittance information so this is why this uh, MT202 cover was introduced hope I have I was able to answer all those questions right the difference between MT202 MT202 cover and and uh, w what are the extra mandatory tax available in sequence B of MT202 cover and this is all I could explain in a better way now, thank you guys for watching this video and do leave any comments if you have any questions and I'll try to get back with the answers thank you